Piotr Jan trying to improve to 6-0 in the UFC Sir, by taking out the legend Uriah Faber. Jan is in black, Uriah Faber is in white. Jan did get caught with a big left hand by John Dodson a couple fights ago, but fought through that. Has fought a very good schedule in the UFC thus far. And for the way that Piotr Jan fights, he can't take a shot, John. Like, you have to be able to take it because of the way he gives it, the way that he fights, that style, that face forward style. Sometimes you're gonna get hit. He's willing to take one to give one because he's so powerful. He's got Uriah backing up. Yep. Controlling the center of the octagon well. Keeping Uriah against the cage. Strong low kick. He's got Faber on his heels already. Yes. If Uriah has an advantage oh. in this fight, nice step in knee. Uriah's advantage is in the grappling, particularly his chokes. Uriah has one of the nastiest guillotines in the game. Yeah, you know, these reactions from Faber are too big, though. Jan is fainting. Faber's giving him way too big of reactions. He will allow Jan to get the reads that he wants in order to try to go and start to damage him. Left hand landing a moment ago for Piotr Jan. This is what Faber needs to do. He needs to be out in the center of the octagon where he can kind of control the engagement. He can decide to wrestle or he can strike with him. But when his back is against the side of the fence, he's in constant danger. Oh, nice combination by Jan. Started with a head kick and then a one-two. Yeah, I don't think either one of those landed, but they're definitely getting in the neighborhood. Uriah can't throw those naked kicks. Mm -mm. He's got to hide them. Well, Jan's not even blocking them. Yeah. He's just kind of leaning back out of the way. He knows where they're going, and he knows he's not going to be there. Uriah was thinking about it there. He was thinking about hiding it behind the punches there. You saw him lift the leg up to kick. A little hesitant. Ooh, good right hand by Jan. Uriah getting, now he's getting competitive. Jan made his UFC debut June of 2018, a win over Faber's teammate, Teruto Ishihara and has steadily climbed the Bantamweight ladder since. Faint, heavy favor. There's the clinch. You can see how Jan defends very well. Jan's being so patient. I mean, you know that he's, he's, he's hell on wheels, you know, but to watch him be this patient, you know, try to wait for your eye to slow down is big if you're a Peter Jan guy. Well, he was patient similarly with Jimmy Rivera, who's a very dangerous guy. Looked for his openings and found it late in the first. Uh -huh. He's a patient guy. And just missed with a big uppercut. Yeah, Faber able to slip his head off that center line. Just over a minute to go here, round one. Oh, nice uppercut there. Oh, oh he, he heard, heard him. him. He heard him. He heard him bad. Uriah tagged him with a left hook. Yeah, one of, one of Faber's best offerings of the fight thus far. Looking for the takedown, but Jan's defense is excellent. Pulls out of that very quickly. Well, that's the danger for Faber. Whenever they come together and he tries to get a takedown attempt, and their breaking position is when Jan is hitting them with real nice shots. Watch here. He's got to be careful here. You yep. see that? Yep. yep. It's like when those, it's like when they break those clinch positions, he's got to be very careful. Nice inside low kick by Uriah.
Jan with another knee, seemed to miss that one. Good start for the Russian. Here's that Uriah Faber knee, partially blocked by Jan. And there's a big body kick by Jan, perfectly landed. Uppercut, this on the chin. Beautiful technique by Jan. Now in this second round, this is where I look to see Jan open up. I think he's got the read on Uriah's timing, and I think the pace will increase substantially in the second round. And we'll see if Faber can follow up on the instructions from his corner to threaten the level change and try to grapple here as Faber lands a right hand and then retreats. Uriah likes that step in knee. Faber, one of the better transitional fighters in UFC history, mixes it up well. Hasn't really threatened the takedown much tonight. That Good left, left hand will work. Beautiful left hook. He's had some success with that, particularly in the first. Good movement. Because Jan's not really paying much attention to the left hand because Uriah's been slapping it. Maybe he should sit down on one of those left hooks as he's just kind of slapping his landing. He sits down on one, maybe it'll have an effect on Jan. Uriah's got to do something to get Jan's respect. Big miss from Faber. A nice combination from Jan. Oh, now they're getting after it. Uriah's got double underhooks. Let's see what he can do with this. Faber trying to grind on Jan here. looking for that neck. Jan constantly switching up the stances, going orthodox here. Oh, they're, they're talking to each other now. Faber can't, Faber can't get drawn into this fight. Jan's too powerful. He wants the, the, the fight a little bit more in his range. Oh, he got attacked with that left hand. Jan is a powerful guy, man. Every time he lands, it has this effect on Uriah. Look at that. That was just a jab, and Faber goes flying around on the side of the octagon. Pretty good entry. Beautiful level change by Faber. Oh, great oh. takedown defense. Limp knee by Jan. Well, most opponents as Jan cracks his oh. oh. Knocked out for Piotr Jan. Oh, this could be the end here. Faber I mean, trying to right defend. Hand. Oh, he's fine. He's smiling at us. He got hit hard. He ain't in need of the body there, too. Faber's like messing around. I can't even look at him. Just waved to his wife and daughter sitting octagon side here. Big oh! right from Faber now. He That's stunned him. Yonsley. He stunned him. He stunned him. Piotr Jan is so patient and so good in these positions. He's not even worried about oh, what Faber oh, hit him with. Big I mean, shot. strike from Jan. That's big what I'm shot. talking about, right? Like, look at Piotr Jan. Faber's hitting him. He's still just staying to himself, and it just finds a shot. That's a bad cut Faber's dealing with, courtesy of that elbow. These are big shots from inside. I mean, but Uriah Faber is as tough as they come. No doubt about it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Dragged to the ground. Oh, oh man, he's got his left eye. It is bad. mangled. It's over. And Keith Peterson, Peterson no, stop. he is stopping the action it. here There's to no take a look. no way they're going to let him fight through this. At Faber's left eye. That is a bad cut. Oh my God. Oh wow. That is so bad. That elbow was nasty. Oh, it's going to just, if he continues to go, it's going to just blow up more and more. I think they might let him fight. I think they're gonna let him fight. It's 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 definitely swelling up. It looks terrible. It's but he can see. That. He can yeah, see. It's so tough. It's gonna continue to swell. 
It's only going to get worse here. Back in the same position. You're in his guard. Come in. They're talking to each other. Nice job by Keith Peterson. They assume the position just over a minute to go here, round two. Uriah's got to protect that eye at all costs. Yeah, he gets hit on that a couple times. That thing's going to blow up, man. He's going for legs. Trying to get his back. Got a leg. The forever game, Uriah Faber still fighting, trying to muster up some offense. Uriah Faber is as tough as they come. But I mean, the power of Fiorian is something to behold. It's substantial. And it's the technique behind it, too. He's never slipping and, and losing position the way Uriah is when Uriah misses. Jan continuing to keep the guard high, working off of that jab. It's amazing when he's able to deliver this kind of power without ever over committing. Yeah. Watch the backhand of Fyodor Jan, though. That's, what, that's the tell, right? Look it's the backhand. It's that's always, power. We do that in wrestling. You, you switch the lock, back trip across, sit the guy right in your lap. That's beautiful. A huge second round for no mercy, Pyotr Jan. Huge favor support here in Las Vegas. We'll see if he can rally. He's got good vision beside the fact that that's a huge Sir, swelling. Sir, he can Fight. still see pretty clearly straight ahead. The peripheral is going to be a mess, though. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it just talks to the toughness of Uriah Faber. We've seen guys get out of fights with much less than this, you know, but Uriah is not looking for an exit. Well, we've seen that. The Aldo fight was the best example of that ever. I mean, his left leg was absolutely brutalized in that fight. Yes. Never tried to quit. We couldn't believe that he made it to a decision. And I mean, he's in front of one of the oh. best fighters in the world at 135 pounds. A young guy, I mean, dominant guy. And, you know, you can't say enough about the performance of Piotr Jan right now. No, you can't. And Uriah has had some success. He definitely did oh. hurt him. Oh, that's it. 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 Piotr Jan stops Uriah Faber in round three. I mean, he is, I mean, Piotr Jan is oh, he is the real man deal. i don't know who wants to see that dude stand across the octagon from him he is the absolute real deal folks you know his technique is absolutely perfect here it is look at this boom <laughs> i mean and this was a uriah faber that was already in big trouble right so look at this clinch boom and he catches him right on the face I mean, but look, look at how close very they are, Joe. Very tight, very I mean, tight. look at the tight quarters that he can generate that type of power. This dude's a problem, man. He really is. In every in every, every place the fight yeah. is. In every facet of martial arts, Piotr Jan. To wrap it up, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Keith Peterson has called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. Pelter, no mercy, ah!